Have you ever wanted to run your own pinball tournament but you just didn't know how? It's a great way to build community and it's actually pretty easy. Let me show you how. There's lots of ways you can go about running a tournament. I mean, you could use pen and paper if you really wanted to, but if this is your first tournament, there's lots of really great resources to use. We're gonna talk about one of them, but by all means, it's not the only way that you can run this. Match Play Events is one of the most popular, and it's pretty user-friendly. They've got lots of different tournament options and formats, and it makes it very easy to set up your first tournament. The first thing you'll wanna do is sign up and create an account. There are many different tournament formats to choose from. The best tournament for you may depend on how many games are available, how many players are participating, or how much time you have available to run your tournament. To learn more about the various pinball tournament formats, visit the Match Play Events Handbook. Now let's talk about different tournament formats. Your first option is Group Match Play Tournaments. This format pairs different groups of players at a machine over several rounds to create a fun and social event. Players earn points based on their finishing position, and at the end of the tournament, the player with the most points wins. Check out how to set up this tournament through Match Play. This is a Match Play tournament format, which um, is one of the more popular format tournament types. You can click the drop down here and pick a location, and you can create new location here if you need to. Look up the address for it and call it something if you want for the place it's gonna be held at. Uh, you just set your time and date there, which actually we need to change that to 7 p.m. now. Tournament format's already set up as group match play, as I said. The seating's gonna be set as random, which means at the start of the tournament, players will just be randomly grouped with each other. And then general pairing is how it sets up what happens after the first round finishes. So it's said to be balanced for this, which means it's going to try to pair you with people you haven't played before at all. The scoring system is the default IFPA 7531. So once you're done here, you just click on the Save Tournament button. At that point, you're going to want to make sure first thing that you do is create arenas for your tournament. You click on the Arenas button up here at the top. I've already got a bunch in here um, set up for the place that we're going to be playing at. If you go to Add Arenas, you will have all the machines you've ever entered for anything on your account. So once you've entered a machine once, you can always just add it back in here with the blue add button. You can just type Atlantis for example, and there it's there. You can deactivate as well and take it out. In the add thing, if you haven't put one in before, you can type it in and search for it. It'll auto search as you go to type. So you'll see it right here. The player screen is where you'll actually add players coming into the tournament. Any person you've ever added in here is going to be listed. You can activate your players from here if you want, or again, same as the machines, you can go in here to the uh, add players function and you can either search from here for existing players, or if you enter IFPA number, you can type in their number and it'll search them that way. If it's a brand new player, you type his or her name in. If they don't have an account and you hit find players, you can have the option to add the player. So if you add the new player, they'll be here now. So if you need to start the tournament whenever it's ready, you just click on the green start tournament button inside of the overview tab. You just leave it the default for draw arenas from any category and you leave the checkbox for publish matches on match play live immediately. When you click start next round here, it'll automatically generate matchups for you. It'll pick random machines and put players onto them. Once a round finishes, they just come back to the laptop or the tablet that you're using and report the results to you, the tournament director. That's what I do just to ensure there's no confusion. And someone would come back to me and say, first, second, third, fourth. You'll have the option to close round one at that point when all the matches are completed. Another great tournament format is Group Knockout. This is a popular elimination tournament format. Over a number of rounds, players are paired against each other in four-player games. Depending on how the player finishes in their match, they will receive one or more strikes. When a player reaches a predetermined number of strikes, they are eliminated from the tournament. At the end of the tournament, the last player standing wins. A third format you can try is called Round Robin. This is a tournament where every player plays each other player once. Each game is a head-to-head -head match between two people, where the winner 
earns a point. At the end of the tournament, the overall winner is the player with the greatest number of points. Last but certainly not least is the high score or best game tournament. This format allows players to play single player games across a bank of machines. Their best game is compared against the best game of the other participants in the tournament. They are then awarded points based on how well their best game ranks. Best game tournaments are a popular qualifying format because you can support a large number of players with only a handful of games. Now let's talk about some pro tips to make your tournament more successful. Consider turning off extra balls and or ball save timers to help keep the tournament moving. It's helpful to display the match play players groups and standings on a TV screen or display monitor at the location. Players can also see the player groupings and standings on their mobile phones by logging into their match play account. Another important tip is prizes. Random giveaways are always a great idea because anyone playing in a tournament has an equal chance of winning. Award the finalists with prizes. The entry fee is typically used to fund cash prizes. Feel free to purchase or make your own trophies for the event and get creative with your prizes and giveaways. Another great tip is to promote your tournament on social media. Create an event and share it. Create an eye-catching flyer with all details, including your location, address, date, time, prizes, and sponsors. Don't forget to take photos of the event for social media and tag Stern Pinball. So now you have some building blocks to start organizing your own tournaments. My question is, are you part of the Stern Army? Stern Army locations get tons of resources from Stern Pinball. We give you prizes, we give you support, it helps build community. You might even host a launch party for the brand new Stern game. If you have questions, let's chat. Let's not forget the most important piece of the puzzle. It's to have fun. Make sure your players are having fun because that's what it's all about. Now you're ready to start your own tournament.